While we're still waiting to learn much more about that crash, it's the latest in a handful of pedestrian crashes we've reported on in the last two months or so. Amanda Fay talking with police today about what we can all do to avoid a tragedy on the roads. In a couple of days, Safety City will be swarmed with soon to be kindergartners learning for the first time about a number of safety issues. One of them, how to properly cross the street. TBD Sergeant William Winnagle will be teaching the kids. He says it's important for adults to recall those same practices they learned as kids. You want to use a crosswalk when they're available. You want to wait for the crosswalk to tell you that it's okay to cross. If there's not one there, you want to, you know, look left, right, left again, make sure that it is clear. Many of the recent crashes involving pedestrians happened at night. Sergeant Winnagle says it's important to think about what you're wearing if you plan to walk in the dark. Wear light clothing so that drivers can see you. Um, a lot of people like to wear dark clothing, especially with the lighting conditions they're hard to see. Now pedestrians may think they always have the right of way, but police say that's only the case when they're crossing in a designated crosswalk. Now, even if they're not at fault, though, there are some things that drivers can do to avoid a tragedy. Pay attention when you're driving. That's the biggest thing, especially in today's time. Um, even though vehicles are more soundproof, um, a lot more distractions in them where people and don't text and drive. And Sergeant Winnagle says if a crosswalk isn't available, pedestrians should try and cross at a corner, not in the middle of a block. So that you can see in both directions the traffic that's coming. If you want your upcoming kindergartner to learn the basics, Safety City starts this week. We have details on our app. Reporting in Central Toledo, Amanda Fay, WTOL 11.